Hey, what's up guys, Warlocks Bull back here, and today we're doing a set review. Um, this is a bonus video for today, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do, don't leave a like, subscribe, uh, rep the gang, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, all that normal bullshit. And uh, yeah, this is already a long enough video, so I don't want to waste too much time with this introduction. So let's just hop right into the first game, er, into the set review. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. So, first card is Sigil of Silence. At the start of your next turn, silence all enemy minions. That card seems fucking broken. What the fuck? Does it just mean that this card seems absolutely fucking bonkers? No, this comes after they said they wanted to not print silences anymore. Because it was unfun and too good. This card seems absolutely broken. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but... I do not like this card. <laughs> I can already tell that there's going to be so many games that I'm going to get mad at just seeing this card. Yeah. If it was a minion that did this, it would be unplayable. But as a spell, I think it's absolutely broken. One second. I'm going to close my door because I feel like I hear an echo. I'll be right back. It's just been me tripping, but I 100% feel like there was an echo right there. And I hope you guys did not hear it because it felt really, really bad. I don't think it's slow. Honestly, it's zero mana. Zero mana spells are always super, super good. They have super high probabilities of being super broken. And I think this, you just play it, like, you have a whole bunch of shit on board, you just slam this. And then your opponent is forced to kill your entire board. Feels broken. Alright, next, Fury. Give your hero plus two attack upgrades when you play, spend five mana, I presume. Three, and then four attack. This just feels like bad fucking... Um... This just feels like bad Twin Slice really bad twin slice it's so much less versatile sure twin slice is two mana if you want to deal the four but you don't have to play 10 mana ahead of it in a deck where you can only play easily 10 mana on turn four or five so i don't i don't like this next tusk tusk piercer i think is how you pronounce that one mana one two death rattle draw a death rattle minion that's uh not bad I, th I think this could help uh if twin slice is out of standard then fury is the replacement but in wild fury is just gonna be outclassed by uh twin slice oh it's oh my god that's even worse that is even fucking worse late game it's one mana for plus four where twin slice is just you can spread it out. That feels so bad. Demon Hunter games don't get to third 10, and when they do, you just concede. Unless you're big. Maybe it's better in big, but even then, I don't think so. This card, I think, could be cool. Um, I don't know how good Death Omens are for Demon Hunter in general. They just kind of don't play them. But uh, I always like effects like this. It, it lets you branch off into more different, uh, more different archetypes. I like that. Uh... Razor Boar, 2 mana 2, 2, Death Rattle, summon a Death Rattle minion that costs 3 or less from your hand. That's actually really cool too. If there's other good Death Rattle minions that are cheap, I mean, right now I'm thinking Leper Gnome, it summons... Uh, what are other good cheap Death Rattle minions that are currently in the game? The demon hunters have access to. Uh, I can summon this. Leopard gnome is good. In a control deck, mistress could be insane. I mean, still then, it's like, you're summoning them for free. Blood mage is good. Loot hoarders are not bad. Um, especially with... 
Oh, Albatross at three again. Especially with Undertaker being a card again. Nerubian Egg is good too, I feel. Uh, and a control deck again. Death Lord could be good. Devil Sword Egg could be good. Uh, Albatross at three could be good. So I feel like the card actually has very good potential of being fairly decent. Especially in like a mid-range Demon Hunter Death Rattle deck. Like this card just feels like so much good tempo. 2 mana 2 2 that summons a free albatross that allows you to use your 3 mana on your turn to do something else feels absolutely broken. Alright, next. Sigil of Flames. At the start of your next turn, deal 3 damage to all minions. See, this feels slightly slower. Like, this just feels a little meh. Look, I think it, again, in a tempo deck where you're playing cards like this, you'd be playing, you know, some of the, some of the big Demon Hunter cards, right? Um... Cards, you know, like this, or like this, 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 things, decks like that, right? You would play Sigil of Flames. Um, just because, like, you can slam it on turn two. A lot of decks, like, if you slam this against on turn two, right, against, like, a Odd Pally, say, they can no longer slam any of the three drops in their deck, besides the two four. And even then, they don't want to slam the two four when their whole board gets wiped next turn, and then you hero power and kill it off, Right. So this could still feels really solid on two. I do feel like it loses value the later on you go. But I feel like this card just still has fairly good potential of being an actual decent card. Um just overall. So I I I'd I'd say it's I'd say it's pretty okay. I think it's worse than Sigil of Silence, though. That I do feel. I feel like Sigil of Silence, again, is absolutely broken. Against Big Priest, right? So you're playing Odd Demon Hunter, and they have double statue out. You play Silence, a uh, Sigil of Silence. They gain eight, sure, but then all of a sudden they only have four eights, and they're really fucking sad. So I don't know. I feel like this card is, has really good potential, and Sigil of Silence is going to be broken. Razor Gore, or uh, Razor Fen Beastmaster, three mana, three three. Summon a Death Row Man, cost four less from hand. See, I like this cycling thing, where you can go from like the baby. To, like, the child, to, I presume there's, this might be a Death Rattle minion? No? Okay. Well, to a 4-drop, right? So, if we go back to the Death Rattles. 4-drops. I mean, there's this. That's not great. Um, 4-drops. What's a good 4-drop? I mean, Shudder's a good 4-drop. Again, with things like Death, um, what's his face? Undertaker. I can see Shudder being decent. Uh... There's no way that's it, right? I guess that's it. Uh, I guess, yeah, they don't have, like, three expansions worth of sets. Or, sorry, like, five years of expansions worth of sets for it. But I still feel like they have potential. Uh, obviously, this is the best one to go with it. Uh, Some of the 2-2 that gives your opponent a 5-5. Five -five. Uh, even this is, like, not a bad card to summon. It's, it's, very, it's very proactive. I like it. Uh, so yeah, I feel like, again, there there might be like a tier 3 mid-range beat Demon Hunter deck to place things like this and this. Don't think it's going to be that good. You could play, I mean, Nizoth would not be good with those, sadly, because they're not big payoff death rattles. They're not like a Sylvanas effect or um, Scrapyard Colossus, but I still feel like they could have a, a decent potential of being actual playable cards. Alright, next. Vile Call. Summon two two twos with Lifesteal. This card feels bad. It's trying like they're... It feels like to me like this card is trying to fit in that token theme. Where the deck was not great and these ones don't have Rush. You're better off just playing the three mana spell that Demon Hunters have. That summons three, uh, three one ones with Rush. Like you're just better off. That combos so much better with uh, not him, this guy. So yeah, I, I personally don't think this card is that great. Might be slightly better in Odd Demon Hunter, but I don't think you want a card like this in Odd Demon Hunter. You just have better cards to play. Uh, Kurtut Ashfallen? Kurtrut? Truss? Kurtrus? Something like that. It's so a 4 mana 3 4 battle cry. Attacks the left and right most enemy minion. Outcast immune this turn. 
Oh, that seems good. That seems really good in a, like a tempo-ish deck. Especially if he's outcast, you just get a 4 mana 3-4 that kills two minions against most decks. Right, sure against Big Priest it doesn't, but against even like Raza Priest, it has very high likelihood of killing things or allow you to kill things against like, you know, Odd Pally since a lot of them don't pay attention to their positioning. Also, you can't position with Odd Pally um, if you're going something like the 3-3, three, three, Steward of Darkshire, or the the Carnival guy that gives them plus one, plus two. Like, you can't position those because your hero power is always going to summon them on the left. So they're always going to be on the right side unless you already uh, had something on the battlefield. And even then, a lot of them don't pay attention. So this card has super high potential being good because people are bad at the game. <laughs> um... That's why oftentimes you'll hear me say like, oh, that's bad positioning. Because there are cards where positioning really matters. And against Demon Hunter now, it matters to not pay your small means on the left and right side of your board. So that's something to look out for with this card. I feel like this card has potential. Again, I feel like they're trying to slow down Demon Hunter with the set. Uh, they're not printing like, you know, a broken one drop to go with it, except for Undertaker. Uh, and I think even with Undertaker, just a not odd version of Demon Hunter is very possible, especially with uh, Razor Fan. Because you could summon something like uh, Creeper, or you could summon something like Egg or Harvest Golem. They're just good minions. Or even Albatross, it's a 4-3. So, like, I feel like, yeah. Like, and in that deck, I think you'd play this. Because this card is just, like, really good, in my opinion. But yeah. Next. Okay, another Death Rattle minion. Or another combo card for Death Rattle. Uh, Vengeful Spirit, 4 mana, 4, four Outcast, draw 2 Death Rattle minions. Like, see, they have so much potential. Uh, right now to do some really good things with this like i like the fact they're slowing things down i really really like that um and yeah there's there's plenty of good death that remains in the game uh just be aware that this deck is probably gonna be closer to an aggro deck than a control deck because again you couldn't play this off in a deck that plays things like this there's not just a good enough death rattle means in Demon Hunter in order to merit this off in the list, sadly. But yeah, I like this. This is um, it's actually a very, very powerful effect. Drawing Tutoring two death rattle minions has very, very high potential of being good. Yeah. Next, uh, Death Speaker Blackhorn. Summon so three death rattle minions from, that cost five or less from your deck. Oh, now you have to look at the five cost ones. Where there's much better five cost death rattles. Um, you have this. You have Apple Bomb. Again, in a slower deck, these are two really good cards. Here it's a seven mana three six, which I don't like. But it's a battle cry. It's not a death rattle. Um, yeah, this, I think this has potential. I, I fuck with this. 100% I fuck with this. I like the new direction. I wish that this guy, though, was summon a death rattle minion from your deck without cost. Or five or more. Um, or say three or more or something like that. Uh, just because I feel like... Five or less, you can just hit, like, double Razor Boar, and you're kind of sad. But, yeah, I feel like this has a uh, potential. So next, we're going to hop over to Druid, it looks like. Druid is one of my favorite classes, and I find they're criminally underplayed at the moment and not very good. So I'm hoping for some good cards. And looking at this, it's not great. <laughs> uh, Living Seed, two mana spell, draw a beast, reduce its cost by one. Okay, wait. But this is gonna be draw three beasts, and then I was gonna be like, ah, oh, draw three beasts on ten. That's a really good card to draw late game. Draw a beast and reduce its cost by three. On ten mana in Druid, you'll probably already be in a top decking scenario. Uh, so an effect like that is not great. Uh, I mean, you could draw this. Not bad, but again, that at two mana late game is not great. This is the biggest one to draw, I think. That card's actually semi-playable in Hadronox Druid. 
It's a tutor for your Hadronox, because it's the only beast that deck plays. Um, so I think you might play one of it. Possibly. Just also because at, say, four mana... Or, uh, sorry, three less, you can combo it with other things, too. Um, but, yeah. Beast. If we look at Beast... Like, you see, like, you couldn't... I mean, to be fair, you wouldn't be running those minions anyways. But, like, even though this feels bad to hit, because it's, like... Two mana for this is, like, okay. Sure, whatever. Um, ooh. Hear me out. Four mana gonk. Now that's a meme I can get behind. It's gonna be good... I was, I was gonna say it's gonna be good against aggro, but you have to have ten mana. Again, that's the big thing. You have to have 10 mana to get that big effect. So, like, I feel like it's okay, because it's a tutor in decks that could use tutors. But draw cards in Druid is not something that class is missing. It's missing just cards that do things. You can draw all the cards in the world, but if none of your cards are good, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alright, next. Mark of the Spike Shell. 2 mana. Bell, obviously. You have a minion plus two plus two if it has taunt add a copy to your hand. Ooh, I like that. That's actually really cool. Is it good? No, not really. Is it cool and do I want to play it? Absolutely. Ugh. Fuck. Um. Yeah, also, by the way, have a drink. This is going to be a while. It's been like, what, five, ten minutes already? And we're only at druid cards. It's going to be a long one. Um, so yeah, this card doesn't seem that powerful at first glance. I don't think it is that powerful, but I'd never say no to a card that gives me two mana to buff a cartoon defender and then get me another cartoon defender. Like, I can't say no to that. That's just good. That's just value. Uh, so yeah, I like that. Alright, uh, Razor Main Battleguard. The first time you play each turn costs two less. I hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's free when you play your first taunt minion, right? Because say if you play this on six with a cartoon defender, you get a free two three. But it is so slow. This would be good if it says the next taunt minion you play costs two less. Like I'm, I'm thinking like a similar effect to a tour guide right now, but instead of for minions or instead of for hero powers it's top minions i think this card is bad how it stands right now personally well i like the effect i like how they're pushing tantrude hopefully they print like a hadronox x card uh and here's where everything gets turned down because they print a two mana spell that summons two one twos with taunt um that are beasts so this card is just unplayable next gruff rune tone rune totem Three mana, two, four. After you cast a nature spell, give a friendly minion plus two. Oh, I have to be looking at the types. So these are all nature spells. Interesting. This card good? No, not really. I don't think nature spells is going to be an archetype, personally. Yeah, I, I don't think this one's that great. Next, Plague Ma the Rotting. Cool name. Four mana, three, four. After a friendly taunt minion dies, summon a new... Copy of it without taunt. That seems broken. I fuck with this card actually. Um, I don't know if Taunt Druid needs it currently. Taunt Druid. Taunt Druid's problem is that it's slow, honestly, and this card doesn't make it faster. It makes it slower, arguably, but it's a really, really cool effect. Uh, things like Cartoot love that effect. Things like Winged Guardian love that effect. Um, yeah, things like Scrapyard, love that effect. I, I like it. It's, a, it's an interesting card. Pride Friendly, Pride Furry, Fury, I can't fucking speak today. Four mana, give your minions plus one plus three, uh, awful. It's way too slow for just health. Uh, Thick Hide Cobalt, four mana, three, five, Taunt, Death Rattle, gain five. I don't think this is a replacement to Cartoon. 
which is the real thing. It is solid, but it's like, do you want to be summoning this off your, um, what was the card called? Uh, Oaken Summons? Do you want to be summoning that, or do you want to be summoning a 3-9? And I think the answer is 3-9 every single time. Just in general. Uh, yeah. Next. Celestial Alignment. Uh, oh, this one's an arcane spell. 7 mana. Set each player's mana crystal to 0. Set the cost of cards in, ha in all hands to 1. And decks to 1. Bro. Bro. I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. It's awful, but I love it. Can I see the golden version? Sadly, I cannot. I love it. Uh, I'm... One of the first decks I want to play is a Celestial Alignment deck. No cap. I would play this on day one if I opened this. This card seems so cool. Okay, next. A Druid of the Plains. 7 mana 7 6 rush frenzy transforms into a 6 7 with taunt. So basically, this comes down and kills something and becomes a 7 6. Not bad. I don't like the fact that it's a beast, so it's not playable in Beast Druid. Is the card good though? It's not bad. Um, it's actually kind of bad. It's really slow. There's better minions to play in my opinion. I don't like it. Uh, you can't. Uh, but it's gonna. So this is gonna set your mana crystals down to zero, right? Um, so you actually can't play other cards when you play this. That's the thing. Um, basically what happens is even if you ramp beforehand, I think you're just going to have zero and you're going to have zero bonus mana. And then a coin and things will cost one. Right, so the coin would be useless. Innervate would be useless. But on the other hand... Do this, and then next turn you play something like Deathwing, and then he kills your Deathwing, and you have a board full of big ass dragons, and you're super happy. Or you play something like Hadronox, and then you kill off your own Hadronox, and you have a giant board full of things. Like I think this card is super cool, or Nazoth, or something like that. I'd I'm would basically what I'm saying is I'm, I'm putting this in Tantrid. Oh, uh, Nourish. I mean, yeah, you could play Nourish with it. But I think you want to use this kind of just like a giant payoff card. The other thing is, this might be insane in aggro decks as well. Actually, no. Because your opponent gets to do things first. But I, I'm, I'm going to be playing a deck with this. Also, this Golden, in my guess, must look fucking phenomenal. Alright. Uh, Sun Scale Raptor. We're moving on to Hunter. One mana, one three frenzy. Shuffle a Sun Scale Raptor into your deck with a permanent plus two plus one. Does this mean they grow every single time? It's like the first one you're gonna shuffle in is gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a three three, and then the next one is gonna be a four four or a five four, and then a seven five. Um, because if that's the case. I like it. If that's not the case. Uh, one time effect when it survives damage. Should, okay, so it doesn't even have to kill anything. So it's not even like overkill. Exactly. But the thing is, right? Say you're playing Secret Mage. They go turn 1-2-1. One, one, summon a secret. You play this. You poke into it. You have a 1-1 one, one still on the board. And you have a 3-3 three, three for 1. Oh, wait. It doesn't have rush. I thought this had a rush. Okay. Without Rush, it's bad. With the Rush, it'd be broken. Uh, and then... Wounded Prey. It's the next spell. Deal run da damage... 
So I'm gonna one one with Rush. Ah, uh, this is actually not bad. Uh, I actually haven't looked at Hunter cards in quite some time. Uh, where the fuck is Hunter? Um, so that card just in general reminds me of, where is he? Springpaw? And I feel like it's better than Springpaw. Like, I feel like it's just straight up power creep because it gets around taunts. And you get like the whole Springpaw, right? For one mana. So I like it. Um, where is it worse? It's worse with Starving Buzzard. And since Starving Buzzard's getting nerfed, or buffed, I don't know if it's playable. Because you'd rather pay two mana to draw two cards as well. So, yeah. Next, Cobalt Pack Runner. Two mana, two, three. After you cast a spell, summon a 1-1 one, one right Hyena with Rush. I don't like this either. I feel this is kind of bad. No cap. Super slow in a class that wants to be more aggressive. I don't like it. Uh, next. Prospector Caravan. 2 mana, 1, 3. At the start of your turn, you have all minions in your hand. Plus 1, plus 1. I like this. This card is actually, like, whoops. Really, really cool. I fuck with it. Fuck with it. Yeah. Oh, damn. Uh, well... Hopefully you're alive now. Next. Uh, Tamed Beast. Uh, summon a 2-2 beast with Rush, which I presume is a crab. And then it's a scorpion. Then it's... Thunder Lizard. That's a fucking kick-ass name. Um, card feels bad. Actually, in Hunter, this might be more playable. Um, the one thing I do wish is that it might made it a little bit broken is that it gained more keywords each time. So like, I wish here it'd say it would have poisonous, right? It's a scorpion. And then here it would have taunt. Like it would like go from rush to poisonous to taunt or something like that. I think that that could be cool. Or like the other way around, right? Start as a two mana, two, two poisonous into a two mana, four, four rush into a three mana, six, six taunt. I think that would be cooler. But... As it is, card seems okay at best. All these upgrades, I feel like they're super, super slow and super not great. Next, Pack Kobo. I hope that's how you pronounce that name. Uh, discover a beast, secret, or weapon. This reminds me of... There's a card that does a very similar effect, isn't there? I don't know if it's in Hunter. Uh, is it? No, I don't think it's in Hunter. What class is it in? Uh, I don't remember if it was a minion. Alright, reminds me of this card. There's, there's three of them. But... No, like, just cards like this, where you can pick one of three different card types. Um, In general, those cards were not playable. Three drop spell. No, not this. I feel like there was a minion that did that, but... I don't know in what class is it. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm t I was thinking about these. The whole set of those, which is why I thought that you could play them in Hunter. I still love that little effect here. It's super cool. Um, but yeah. I feel that effect is just super slow and super not great. I would pay five more mana or three more mana or two, I'd pay five mana for a one, two that we discovered all three of those, I think. But I think as this stands, it's kind of bad. 
All right, the first Hunter Legendary. Travis Stormpike. Three mana, two, five. Pretty good stats, especially for Hunter. After friendly beast attacks, summon a beast from your deck that costs one less. This opens up so many possibilities. What the fuck? Now you might be thinking, like, what the fuck do you mean this opens up so many possibilities? This opens up so many possibilities of super cool combos you can pull off. Do you still have access to cards like Tundra Rhino, right? So if you leave a 6-drop up, right, you can play this into attack with it, even if you're attacking face, into summon Tundra Rhino, into attack face again, into getting a 4-drop that can attack again. Because they're all beasts, so Tundra Rhino gets them all charge. So this card has potential. No cap. I like it. I fuck with it. Um, or you can play this. Zixor Prime is 7 mana, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh... Or no, he's 8 mana. Okay, I guess then it's a little bit worse. But I still feel like this card has potential. It's a card you have to answer as soon as it's played. Piercing Shot. Is this guy just getting clapped right after we saw him? Unless he's getting clapped. 4 mana spell deals 6 damage to a minion. Excess damage goes to the enemy hero. As well, no cap. I don't like it. Personally. Warsong Wrangler. Ugh, I won't stop yawning. It's tilting me. <laughs> Warsong Wrangler. Uh, 4 mana, 3, 4. Battlecry. Discover a beast in your deck. Give all cards a plus 2, plus 1. I just see potential with quest. I don't know if I have quest. Did I disenchant quest? I did. I just see uh, combo potential with this. Where all of a sudden you have a whole bunch of 5-3s that draw cards whenever you play them, for one. In general though, I feel like this card is uh, not great. Not great whatsoever. Battlecry draw 1, 2, and 3 cost spell. Also feel like this is not great. Hunter doesn't have that many good spells. I don't think. I don't like it not at the top of my list of cards that i would play personally um but yeah this this is not real death rattle hunter support i guess does are the spells for death rattle hunter three mana i guess they are uh do i have tonk druid still built or tonk hunter Uh, yeah, I mean, you can draw play dead. I don't know where your two drop you're drawing is. I'm missing one. I guess pain death. I guess, yeah, it is kind of support. I don't know how good it is. It feels like really slow, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a big fan. I see a lot more potential with something like this. I feel like this card has so much potential. Alright, next. Currently my most second most hated class in the game. Fury. Flurry. Can't fucking read today. Jesus Christ. Uh, freeze. Two, three. Okay. Zero amount of the freeze targets. That feels really good. Uh, would you just rather play Frost over though? Pay three mana to freeze seven minions? I think the answer is yes. I generally feel like the answer here is yes. You'd rather just play Blizzard. Or er, Frost Nova. This card feels slow in comparison. But, on the other hand, you wouldn't be mad about discovering this. It's a thing. And with Quest Mage still being a fairly popular deck, I think it's pretty good. I fuck with it. And, uh, yeah. Next. Deal 2 damage, discover a spell. That card is pretty good. Um, Rune Orb. Rune Orb is 
is a fairly good card. Does it replace Primordial Glyph? Absolutely fucking not. Is it another just Discover Effect for two? Uh, that's still pretty good. Yeah. Steal two, right? Yeah, I feel like this card has potential to be really, really good, in my opinion. Definitely has that potential. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck else to say besides... It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Wildfire. Increase your... Increase the damage of your hero power by one. That's permanent. That's really cool. I like the, the direction they've been going with Mage. Um, where you kind of get these effects that last the entire game. Uh, think of cards like, uh, I forgot the name of the card, I forgot the name of the card, I forgot the name of the card, uh, this one, Encounter's Flow. Right? Think of effects like this. I feel like they have such, oh, oops, oh, I feel like they have such high potential. And this one especially, right? With already card decks like Odd Mage being, I would say decently popular. Uh, not that I've seen a lot at all but like there there are a couple of people that do enjoy that archetype of the deck i feel like this stuff like cards like this is really really cool and just like a really good direction to take it away from the super aggro and put a more um interesting spin on it especially interesting on aggro right because right now a lot of the aggro decks feel very very similar right rogue you're drawing a whole bunch of cards and you're killing your opponent with a big ass weapon or you're killing your opponent with a very sticky board that just you know just kill them over time which is kind of very similar to um, Mage, where the only difference is instead of killing them eventually with a big ass weapon, you kill them with a burn spell. Or uh, Dark Lair, where you're again drawing a whole bunch of cards, and then instead of killing them again this time with either a spell or a uh, big ass weapon, it's just a big ass minion. Demon Hunter, again, very, very similar to Rogue at the moment. Uh, Pirate Warrior, very, very similar to Rogue at the moment. Same thing with Odd Pally. All these decks feel identical, except for Dark Lair. Dark Lair is kind of like that outlier, but. They all feel very, very similar. And I like that you're trying to change it up with cards like this for aggro decks. Next, Arcane Luminary. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, three mana, four, three. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost two less, but not less than one. I'm very glad they made this this little line right here. This, uh, but not less than one. Good card design. Is this card good? Yes, I think this card's actually fairly decent, especially in a deck. Um, it reminds me, there's, there's a card that's very, very similar to that. Uh, where is he? Do we not have one? That's entirely possible. Was he nerfed to six? Was he four? Oh, he is four. Oh, this is in your deck, though. No, wait, they're both cards that didn't start in your deck. You're holding any... Yeah, okay. So the difference is... Sorry, this one hits cards in your deck. This one does not. This one does make them cost... Can cost zero. I feel like they're both good, but I feel like this one is actually slightly better. For one less mana... Um... I would take the fact that they can't cope with less than one. I think. I don't think either of them are playable, though. Alright. Oasis Ally. When a friendly minion is attacked, summon a 3-6 Water Elemental. Who thought this was a good idea? The art is dope. But who the fuck thought this was a good idea? This is absolutely fucking bonkers. Is that just me? Already as it is. Wait, actually, is it better than other secrets? I think the answer is actually no. It's a really, really good secret. Don't get me wrong. But is it better than explosive runes? No. Battery spell? Absolutely not. The Rigged Fairy Games? Absolutely not. Playmore? Absolutely not. Nether One Portal? That's a maybe. It's not better than the other secrets, besides possibly Nether One Portal. So, it's not playable because of that. But the card is not bad. The card is definitely not bad. 
I can see you playing that in something like an elemental mage. Uh, Rhyme Tongue. Don't? Something like that. 3 out of 3, 4. After you cast a Frost Spell, summon a 1-1 one, one elemental that freezes. How many Frost Spells are realistically in the game? Oh, I guess this is a 0 mana 1. That's actually a really cool combo, this and this. Really cool combo. In general, though, I feel, again... I feel like there's not going to be enough good Frost Spells in order to make this a thing. And there's not enough support for it at the moment. At least of what I've seen. Uh, Battlecraft, feel, fire your hero heart to all enemies. That seems absolutely broken. If you upgrade your hero power, right, playing... Oh, I guess... Oh, this is terrible. What am I saying? It's four mana. Press unplayable. You can't play it an odd mage. Yeah, unplayable. Actually, hold up. With the new card. Because you also can't play this in Odd Mage. I feel like they did that on purpose. Um, You're forced to not play Odd. Which means you get access to... Ugh... No, not even major because you want you get access to this, right? So that's just a board clear. Um, but you have like because you still want to have access to. Um, the one mana guy, this guy, Fire Eater, cards are broken with that, right? You're dealing three damage to the entire enemy board. If you buffed it twice, right? That's five damage to the entire enemy board, on a four mana battle cry. It's better than Flame Strike. Um, I don't know if this is a searchable turn. It instantly activates this, basically. This, I mean, I still think this card's weak, but I think it's potential. I'm actually interested in trying a mid-range aggro-ish mage that plays things like this. Very interested, actually. Next, Refreshing Spring Water. Four mana spell, draw two cards, refresh two mana crystals for each spell drawn. So this is zero mana, draw two, and spell mage. Right. Spell mage was a fun deck. I played a couple games of it. Um... Twenty-three frost spells. Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, but how many of them are playable? Um, I feel like it's not that many. These are not all the spells. Uh, do I just need to write spell here? Yeah. Okay. So when you think about it, right? Because you have still access to this, right? So we're playing wild. Um, there's two, two. I can't play that. Um. Yeah, I think I think it has potential, right? You still have arc access to Arcane Blast. If you want to meme really hard, you have access to Lewis Pocket Galaxy. But I think Spell Mage could be a thing, and I think this card helps. I, I know, well, it was a thing. It's not great. It's not better than Secret Mage. But it could be fun. Um, yeah, yeah, it just could be a fun deck to play. Next, Varden Dawn Rasp? Something like that. 4 mana 3 3. Battle cry. Freeze all enemy minions. If any minions are already forced, frozen, deal 4 damage to them instead. So this is 7 mana flame trick. With Frost Nova. And it's 10 mana to deal 6 to the board. With Blizzard. It's also just a 4 mana 3 3. That, um. Oh shit, 11 of them are playable. God damn. Still don't think it's good though. I don't think it's worth it. Um, personally. But this card is actually really, really interesting. 
I think this card has potential. It's a 4 mana 3 3 well, that combos with a lot of cards in Mage. Yeah. Next, this guy looks. This guy looks like he did crack one too many times. I didn't know such thing was possible, but he definitely looks like it. Uh, so his name is Mordash Fire Eye. Uh, if you've dealt 10 damage with your hero power this game, deal 10 damage to all enemies. This is just a 10 mana pyroblast to everything. That could. I fuck with it. I want to play Hero Power Mage now. You can't go odd, right? Hero Power Mage is no longer odd. Uh, because you're obviously running this guy. This guy seems absolutely broken. Better than Genelia. 100%. Will I play this card? 100% I'm going to be playing a uh, Hero Power Mage deck. I think Hero Power Mage is actually going to be playable in a while. No cap. Yeah, I fuck with it. That's actually insane. Three, 10 out of 10 10 to pyroblast the board. Get out of here. That's fucking awesome. Uh, give a random friendly... Or, sorry. Conviction. Rank 1. Give a random friendly minion 1 attack. Okay. Or 3 attack. I honestly was expecting 3, 6, 9 attack. But that's, I guess, a little bit broken for a 1 mana card to give a minion 9 attack. I mean, it's a broken for a one mana card to give three minions three attack, but hey. Card seems pretty good, because unlike other aggro decks, Odd Pally actually has the potential to go long and stick with it. So this card actually has potential. Especially because, like, all of your minions can have divine shields, and you slam this, it's really good. Next, New Secret. Galloping Savior. After your opponent plays three or more cards in a turn, or three cards in a turn, summon a 3-4 steed with Taunt. Whoa, this is a good anti-aggro. That's for damn sure. It's a good overall. I don't know how good control pally's going to be overall. It has potential, though. I think it does have potential. If the meta slows down even a tad... I think the control-esque uh, Pally decks become good. So basically, the slower the meta gets, the better Paladin does overall, in my opinion. Uh, when they're not super aggro. Right? Because the Uther combo, theoretically, is OTK answer in 10. Every game. Because it's kind of... The only thing that deck does is draw and then uh, time out until you can kill your opponent. So, with that being said... Is this card good? Yes, because a lot of aggro decks play multiple cards at one turn. The problem is that a lot of them do two cards, not three, in my opinion. Or in my, like, of what I've seen, right? Slam this on one, Secret Mage doesn't play three cards on one turn until, like, turn 50, if they ever do. Um, the only one that comes to mind is Odd Demon Hunter. With the coin, they can possibly play three cards on one turn. Oh, on turn two. Uh, very likely, where they go coin, one drop, one drop, hero power. I don't think the card is insane. It is playable, though, I think. In, in, it might see play, basically what I'm saying, in lower pally decks. Just, yeah. Alright, next. Knight of Anointment. Uh, one mana, one, one. Battle cry, draw a holy spell. Is this card good? Again, I don't know too many holy spells, so I can't tell you for sure. But I don't think it's bad. Liberans are all holy. This card is good. <laughs> uh, it's a tutor for your Liberan. Um, Yeah, I fuck with it. I think it's going to be good in exactly Liberan Pally. I think Liberan Pally would actually even play uh, Galloping Savior. Personally. Especially if they're going pure. It's a fairly good card for pure. Next. Soldier Caravan. At the start of your turn, 7 2 1 1 recruits. This card's bad. 1. It's 2 mana, so you can't play an odd pally. 2. It's bad because it's at the start of your turn. If it was at the end of your turn, it'd be broken. At the start of your turn, it's unplayable, in my opinion. 
Uh, Sword of the Fallen. Uh, two mana, one three. After your hero attacks, cast a secret from your deck. So they're kind of trying to push secret pally. So what I need of value here is, is this better than running both? Mad Scientist and Mysterious Challenger. And I believe the answer is no. Mysterious Challenger is a really fucking good card. Uh, in that archetype. And you don't want to get to a point where you have no more secrets in your deck for Mysterious Challenger to pull, right? You want him to be an 11 mana 6-6. Six, six, or a 6 mana 6-6 six, six that summons 5 secrets. So I think overall this card is meh. North Watch Commander. 3 mana, 3, 4. Battle Cry. If you control a secret, draw a card. Or draw a minion. Hmm. Do I think this card is good? Not really. I feel like it's too fucking slow. And I... I don't know, my brain's in a place where no matter what... All the other Paladin decks that are not odd are fringe. Would you play this in Pure? Yes. Would you play this in Librem? Also possibly yes. You would not play this in Odd. It's too slow for Odd, that's for damn sure. Also, your 3 drop spot is full. You have 6, 8, 3 drops in that deck, I think. If not more. So yeah, I don't, I don't think it's that great. I definitely don't think this is that great. It has potential, though. I will give it that. Uh, Kariel Roam? Rami? Rame? Something like that. Um, yeah, I heard Rogue has broken curse, but we're not there yet. And uh, I think people wanted no spoilers, so they wanted me to be mad at them. Uh, so, yeah. Kariel Car Roam. If I'm pronouncing any of these cards wrong, by the way, just tell me I'm a fucking idiot in chat. Uh, 4 mana, 4, 3. Rush, Divine Shield. Whenever this attacks, reduce the cost of Holy Spells in your hand by 1. Huh. So this is a guaranteed... It's a guaranteed discount on certain cards? That's... Depending on how good Holy Spells are, this could be really good. Like, if they're all super playable, this could be super playable as well. Because discounting cards in your hand is traditionally really broken. Look at Emperor. Uh, so I would, I would, uh, I would, I would wait for this card. This card has definitely potential. Like, if it's not good now, it might be good later on, depending how good holy cards get. Um, because yeah, just effects like this are just kind of effects that are eternal, in my opinion. Same thing with like cards like Emperor. All right, Invo. Oh my fucking god, Evo. Evo go rating. That's definitely not how you pronounce it. I'm going with that though. Info to rating. Nah, ha. Thurman. Okay. Four mana. Give him all minions in your hand plus one plus one and on the battlefield. So if this got discounted to three, is it too good? I mean, how many minions you have in hand and on board? Kinda. Is it good overall? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's too slow, and it's not odd. <laughs> you want this effect in an odd deck, and this is not odd. I should change the title of my stream, huh? 42 holy spells? Jesus Christ. Damn. Uh... Yeah. Alright. Next. Veteran War Medic. 4 mana, 3, 5. After you cast a Holy Spell, summon a 2-2 two, two Medic with Lifesteal. See, I like this effect so much more than I like this effect. Um... Yeah, this effect I feel like is slow. This, or uh, where is she? This effect, on the other hand, I feel like it's like insanely powerful. Because the lifesteal in these things is actually really good, right? 
I presume any card with the word holy in it is becoming a holy spell. So, things like, you know, this isn't probably a holy spell. This isn't going to be a holy spell. I mean, not necessarily that this one is playable, but, you know. Um, yeah, for Librams, right? You buff it twice with two Librams of Wisdoms. You're chilling, right? It's a 5-6, or 5-7 that comes with two 2-2s. Two, That's, like, really, really good for four. Really, really fucking good for four. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Send me it so this way I'm about to have it open. So, yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Alright. Next. Cannon Master Smithy. Transform your secrets into 3-3 three, three soldiers that transform... They transform back when they die. I actually kind of fuck with this. I fuck with this a lot. I think this definitely has potential of being good. Um. Yeah. I. Oh wait, you can't actually play this though with Mysterious Challenger unless one of them get a discount. And all your secrets are gonna be trig are gonna be triggered, right? Hmm. I can't tell if this card is good or bad. Like, I don't think it's great, but I also don't think it's uh bad. Like, I feel like it's probably just in between. Um, just overall, I feel like it's just in between. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, alright, thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, at least it zooms in properly. Um, no, they're gonna be, they're gonna be on the battlefield, which is what makes it cool. Um, yeah, how this card makes me sound is they're gonna be on the battlefield. Um... Yeah, so I think this could, uh, this has potential, but again, I feel like it's super slow. If I go down to Holy, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Holy cards. Um, Renounce Darkness is a Holy card, interesting. Okay. For Paladins, big ones they have, ooh, Forbidden Words, okay. I love that card. Um, but yeah, Avenge is Holy, so that's a good card. Uh, Libram, that's really good. Uh, Hand of Uldun is good. Quality is good. Forbidden Words is, or, sorry, uh, Divine, uh, Divine Favor is good. Consecrate's good. Uh, Blessing of Authority, or Blessed, what is that card? I can't fucking, I'm not good at reading today. Blessing of Authority, I was right. Uh, so yeah, I, th I mean... This card, I feel like it's just gonna be really good. Actually, looking at this list, this card has definitely potential of being really, really good. Alright, next. Condemn. Uh, the... what? Did I person to seal three? Two mana deal three to everything is really fucking good. Especially in something like Highlander. It's really cheap and it doesn't hit your own minions, which is really nice. Um, do I think it's super playable? Not super. Do I think it's going to be played? Yeah, for sure. I feel like this card is actually fairly good. Um, is it too much to ask for this card to have lifesteal? I think so. Yeah, I feel like that card definitely has potential. Priest. Legendary. First one. Uh, Serena Bloodfeather. A uh, two mana one one. Choose an enemy minion. Steal attack and health from it until this one has more. Fuck. That card feels good, but terrible. I thought this was honestly just me swap, but it's like better than swap. Uh, uh, that's not better than swap. 
worse than swap, but is it bad? I don't think so. Right? Yeah, no, this is not bad. Does it steal them separately? Because then it's better. Right? If you steal it separately, um, you'll make Leroy a 1 1. No, 2 1. It's very interesting because when they're at the same amount of health. Um, no, it actually be a three one. If they're at the same amount of health and attack, I think this one's gonna steal one more, which is really really cool. I don't think the card is that great though. I might be completely wrong. This card is very very hard to judge in my opinion. Uh, all right, soothe Sayer Caravan. Exactly. It is a tactical card, but I think there's just better uh, cards like this that you can play in Priest, in my opinion. Uh, see Sarah Caravan at the start of your turn, copy a spell from your opponent's deck and to add it to your hand. I feel like this card's actually really good. 2 mana, 1-3? The problem is that it's at the start of your turn. And that makes me feel like it's bad. <laughs> like, I feel like, that effect is really good, really cool. Um, but at the start of your turn makes it super bad. I don't know. I don't like this as start of your turn effects. They all feel super slow. Alright, next. Devouring Plague. Lifesteal. Deal 4 damage, randomly spit among all enemy minions. This card's bad. 3 mana to gain 4. Hopefully kill one thing. I don't know, man. That card feels uh, not great. Not great whatsoever, in my opinion. Alright. Void Flare. Uh, for each spell in your hand, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. I hate this random effect. This card would be super cool if, it was, if you got to choose. But I think because it's random, same thing with this one. Because they're random, they're not good. Also, that was just bad. It's worst version of a whole bunch of cards. Uh, next, Zyrael. Spell Priest, I don't think is an actual thing. It just doesn't have enough support. It's not like Spell Mage. Or Spell Hunter. There's no actual support for it. Zyrael. Uh, if you restored health this turn, deal that much damage to all enemy minions. So this is a board wipe. This is a 10 mana board wipe with Reno. Card feels good. Card feels good. Even worse comes to worse. With Raza played, it's a 4 mana 4 4 that deals 2 damage to the board. To the enemy board. Is it broken? I don't think so. I don't think this card is broken whatsoever. I think it's good. Uh, if I give it a rating, it'd probably be like a 7 out of 10. It has potential of doing really good things. Actually, because of Reno, I think I'd give it an 8. Because with Reno, it's just a board wipe, right? <laughs> Deal 20 damage to the board. Um, but yeah. I like it. It could be really good if you get it in other classes. Uh, Priest of... And she... With that, five mana five five taunt battle cry. If you restored health this turn, gain plus three plus three. Uh, yeah, card definitely has potential, but also don't forget you have to fit those cards into your deck. I'm thinking of actual cards I would want to put in my deck, so like even with renew, five mana deal three is really fucking good especially since it comes with a 4-4 uh but priest of anshi 5 mana 5 5 taunt battle cry if you have restored health this turn plus 3 plus 3 this card reminds me of very very loosely but uh, wait where's priest i don't know why but i get the same vibes that i got from this card 
This card I still fucking love. But also... Uh, like this type effect. And the Warlock guy that is the last one. I don't think I have one of the Warlock guy. Do I not have any? How much mana is he? Fucking Christ. I think he's four or five. No, I'm thinking of a different card. I think. Do I not really have any? Am I just missing them? What the fuck? Oh, I still have spells on. I'm fucking retarded. Uh, I swear he has a 4-drop. No, not that guy. See if I drop? Yeah, this guy. This guy's the guy I'm thinking of. No. I'm getting this vibe. And this card wasn't playable. And it's arguably an easier condition to hit than this on turn five. So I don't think this card's that playable. Just because, right, if I'm comparing it to other cards, that one didn't see play. Again, if you hit Raza, then it's good. Raza to 7 mana, 8 8 taunt, which is not great. There's also that 5 mana cost. It's kind of bad in the current Raza Priest. Kind of. Um, they'd have to nerf something severely in Raza Priest to make it the current version just not the best possible version because it's so consistent. So, yeah. If they did say nerf, Raza made it hero power cost 1 again. Uh, one, I think Highlander Peace would not be nearly as good. The whole meta would change. Um, and th I guess point three, Best Priest would most likely be some Galakron variant. Because Galakron I still feel like is a very, very solid card. And also, you already have a 5, five mana taunt card. And it wouldn't be this one. You'd probably go like a Highlander... Uh, a Highlander Arena Priest. Or sorry, a Highlander Galakron Priest. In that case. Well, yeah. Uh, next. Light Shower Elemental. 6 mana, 6, 6 taunt. Death Rattle. Restore 8 health to all friendly characters. I like that. I like the fact it doesn't just say minions. Um, it does have potential. Uh, this card does have potential. Uh, I don't know if they will nerf Raza. Um... I feel like the card that they would rather nerf instead is most likely Spawn. Um, because Spawn doesn't destroy the archetype nearly as hard as hitting Rasa. But hitting Spawn makes the deck significantly weaker. Because you, if you want to still go full combo route, uh, you have to go to a Velen version. And then Pollock is no longer nearly as good. Because you're going to have Emperor and... Um, Bellin as cards to clog up your draws before you draw Raza, and then you'll still be in a rough spot. So I think that a Highlander variant that would be more um, control-ish oriented with the, I guess now buffed Alex Straza, would be better off overall. I do want to try though a Raza Priest build that does play Alex Straza and does not play combo. I'd still play Anduin because I think Anduin is still an insanely powerful card with a zero mana hero power. But it wouldn't be playing spawn. I'd go more for a value-oriented list. This card, I think, would possibly fit in that list, by the way. This card feels really, really strong. Next. Give a minion plus three plus five. Cost one less for each spell in your hand. This is way too much mana base. If this was six mana base, seven mana base, significantly more playable than an eight... It means you'd have to have a 9 card hand with only spells. Having played a deck, a priest deck, that plays 
five sp five minutes in it. The amount of times I've had eight spells in it. Very, very low. Very, very, very low. Uh, yeah. I think this card's just, like, not great. Alright, Rogue. Rogue is a class, or is a... At this point, I thought I'd just throw this out there. I fucking hate Rogue, so I'm gonna be very, very critical on these cards. So, if a card feels a little bit too powerful, I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna be significantly more biased, I feel, here. And say a lot more things are broken, even though they might not be. And let's start with, uh... Pra pra Paralytic Poison? Give your plus one... Give your weapon plus one attack, your hero's immune while attacking. That feels broken? Actually, no, that kind of actually feels bad. The card feels absolutely fucking horrible. Is that weird to say that? I hope that's not weird to say. This card feels absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I understand Kingsbane Rogue, but... Kingsbane Rogue isn't playing a whole bunch of cards like this. Like, they're just buff effects. Right? Like, Kingsbane Rogue would rather just play this. Right? Basically, at the moment, you're gonna have to think, is the card better than Nitro Boost? What do I mean by horrible? I mean significantly worse than most other cards in this archetype. Um. Yeah. Is it better than 2 mana Nitro Boost? Even then, you're not attacking minions. You're attacking your opponent's face. Like, you might run one copy of this. But you're still going face most most of the time with your weapon. If you get to a point where you're attacking minions, you've probably lost. But I feel like that line of text never comes into play, and you're paying one mana to give it plus one attack. It doesn't... The immune on your weapon, I think, is not nearly that big. I think you would rather, again... I guess this is only this turn, but... I don't know. I feel like you'd rather gain the health. Like... Yeah. Because if you're low enough to the point where you actually want to gain this ability, I feel like you've lost. Yeah, but if you're clearing board, I think you'd still rather gain, you know, 15 life off this and not do this. Because again, if you have to attack minions multiple turns in a row, you've lost. You straight up lost the game. Maybe there's other cards that make it better, but as I'm staring at this, this card seems okay at best. Alright, one mana, yoink. One mana, discover a hero power. And set it cost to zero. Swap back after two uses. Okay, this card just also feels bad. Is that just me? Um... Yeah, there's no hero power you'd want. I like how they fucked this up, is this is no longer the totem that this summons. That's kind of funny to me. Uh, this card feels bad, though. No, we don't want that. <laughs> Alright, next. Uh, efficient Octobot. 2 mana 1-4, reduce the cost of cards in your hand by 1. This card feels busted. Uh, the fact that there's no specific type that it's reducing, so this is just a 2 mana 1-4 that's going to punch something that gives you an Emperor tick for free. Pretty broken. Pretty broken, in my opinion. Uh, Silver Leaf Poison. Give your weapon after your hero attacks. Draw a card. Even then, 
Isn't Rogue's card draw already so fucking phenomenal that this is just overkill? Like, when I'm looking at Kingsbane Rogue players, I never see them lacking cards. And when they do, they just lose. Right? If they're down to two cards in hand on turn five, and they don't have Kingsbane out, they just lose the game. Even if they have Kingsman out, they draw one additional card with this. I don't think that's enough to win the game. I feel like this card is also slow and bad. This card is definitely just too slow for Kingsman. There's no way you can commit two mana in a Kingsman deck in a deck where you want to aim to kill on turn five. It draws you one card even then. I don't think this card is good. I'd be very surprised if this is just more than tested. Yeah, I just feel this effect is too slow. Way too fucking slow. There's so many better cards you want to be playing, right? Hold up. Let me get a Kingsbane list right now. Yeah, it's a draw three that you resolve most likely on turn four that takes you to turn seven to draw the three cards. Against most deck, if Kingspin is going to turn seven, they've lost, is the thing. And I don't think that card is good enough to bring them back into the game. Uh, here, I'll take just a very basic list. Okay. The cards in this list right now that are not essential, in my opinion, are the Penflingers, the Corsairs. Maybe one Nitro Boost after the nerf. But even then, I don't think so. I think Nitro Boost is still a very, very solid card. You're fighting over other really powerful cards for these four slots. Right? You're fighting over Penflinger, which is already a very, very powerful card. You're fighting over cards like Swindle. Um, like, this is a good card draw spell. So you play this on turn one with prep. You don't take three turns to draw three cards. Um, you know, you're fighting over... I guess this card's not that great. But there, there's still plenty of cards that I think you would just rather play. Honestly. No, isn't this card also getting buffed too? You're fighting over Blade Flurry to deal damage to boards. Or even an old card that used to see a lot of play in Kingsbane. Fighting over Doomerang. Or if your weapon's at one attack, right? You don't have to attack, right? Instead of doing this for one mana, right? Where your weapon still takes damage. You slam Doomerang, you pop a blood, and then you can replay your Kingsbane, and you can attack them in the face. That's why I don't think this card is good. There's just better options. That one attack doesn't end up helping out most of the time overall. This card draw is just too slow overall when you could be playing Swindle, which draws you two cards uh, for two. This draws you two cards over two turns if you have Kingsbane out and if you already haven't attacked. Yeah, it's it's just tech. But I think these cards are also just going to be tech. If there's a lot of top minions in the game, you might want to put this in, but you could also just put Doomerang in, which would be a better card overall, in my opinion. So, yeah, just overall, this so far seems like the best card in Rogue of what I've read so far. This card absolutely looks fucking oppressive. Oh, it's 3 a.m. I got a new quest. Uh, what was the quest I got? I should have rerolled that. Whoops. They tend to even cost cards. Okay. Well, that's doable. So yeah, so far those two cards, they look okay. I might be, by the way, I might be completely out of line. I'll admit it. 
But I feel like both of those cards are really, really slow. Wicked Stab. Deal 2 damage. Upgrade. Upgrade and deal 6. Does Rogue need another removal spell? Oh, that can go face. That's a 2 mana fireball for Rogue. That's broken. Most of the time, they'd already kill you with Eviscerate. This is Eviscerate. You don't have to prep. And if the game goes even longer, it's just double fireball. I feel like this card is good. This is a good rogue card, too. Uh, next. Field Contact. 3 mana, 3, 2. After you play Battle Cry or Combo Card, draw a card. This feels like slow card draw for rogue. This is not playable in Odd Rogue, I don't think. This is not playable in Kingspain Rogue, I don't think. I feel like this card is bad. I feel like there's no slower rogue decks that are actually playable. Maybe Galakron Rogue after the nerf or the buffs. But then I think you'd just rather play Hanar. Hanar is really, really good still. Uh so yeah, this card. It's a so so. Uh Swine Tusk Shank. I like that name. Uh three mana two two. After you play a poison. Gain plus one durability. What the fuck is a poison? Why can't I hover over poison? Is it a type of spell? No, that wasn't on the chart I was sent, right? Uh what was it on the chart I was sent? I don't think it was. Nature, holy, shadow, frost, fire, fell, arcane now. Cards that have poison in the name. Oh. Okay, that feels super awful. Honestly, for this, I think you'd just rather play the Thief Rogue build. That's actually playable. With the 4 mana weapon. I don't own one, apparently. That's interesting. Is it not 4 mana? What the fuck? Oh, I'm in standard, that's why. Uh, I was about to say, there's no academic espionage either. Um, yeah, there. Cutlass. You gotta just be playing Cutlass. Okay. Yeah, I'm, it might be getting centered. I don't play any of that, so I do not know. Apothecary Hellbrim. Valkyrie and Death Rot add a random poison to your hand. Feels terrible. <laughs> Feels honestly like a worse version of where is she three mana. I don't think I have one, so. Wait, right. oh she. You know she was four, right? Yeah. Feels like this. I don't feel like this card's just better. So the toxins that you can get were really good. You can get really shit poison cards. Oil Rig Ambusher. 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Xaral. Yeah, that's... I, I'm terrible at remembering names. 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. Uh, Battle card deal 2 damage. It entered your hand this turn, so if you drew it this turn. Deal 4 damage instead of... Why, why does this phrasing... Why not, if drawn this turn, deal 4 damage instead? This card's bad, though. I don't like it. Too slow. Yeah, Cutter Butter. That's a funny name. <laughs> One mana, three, three. Combo the next two cards you played this turn cost three less. So you've already have to play a card before this. I guess you could go prep him. What would be the best case scenario? What would be best case scenario? Best case scenario, I mean, if you shadow step this, this could have really, really good potential of doing 
broken things. Like, absolutely insanely broken things. As it stands, though, I think this card is okay at best. I feel like there's just way better cards you would want to be playing. In a slower deck... Uh, yeah, two mana sprint. But... Again, is two mana sprint better than just double zero mana cutting class? Is the thing I don't know. Oh, this card has potential. It has potential. It, it, it has potential in Galakron. That's what I'm kind of trying to say here. But even then, your cards you're drawing are zero mana, so this is like, meh. It does give you like a three mana Togwaggle or a four mana Galakron. Which means you can go Galakron at eight, but you have to play a card beforehand. I don't know. I feel like it could be okay. Could be okay. Uh, yeah. Honestly, Rogue, I feel like, has two insane cards, and then two cards that I see very differently from uh, other people. And then an awful Legendary, and a Legendary has potential. But yeah, two good cards, in my opinion. Again, I'll fully admit right now that there is a very big possibility that I could be absolutely wrong with all of my guesses here. And these two cards end up becoming super playable, and then you guys are allowed to make fun of me. How about that? Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on those cards. Alright. Spawn Pool Forager. One mana, one two. Death Rattle summon a one one tiny fin. Yo, fuck you, game. It's not effective, it's pissing me off. Fuck you, game. Why is this not an actual tiny fin? Card's bad because it's not actually tiny fin. Uh, I mean, yeah, if I'm wrong, 100% make fun of me. But I don't see how either of those two cards are that playable. In my opinion. In my opinion. Um. Okay, yeah. Uh, Chain Lightning. That's a very good magic card. Deal 3 damage to a minion and a random one adjacent to it. Let's deal 4. Yeah, deal 4. 2 mana deal 4 to 2 things. That's pretty good. Pretty good, in my opinion. Um... Is that good, though? Again, the thing is, I find games are not going till turn 10. And if games don't go to turn 10, you have to look at the middle one. Because I think the middle one is the one you're most likely cast. That one in the first one. To end deal two to two things is good, right? If the there's a one mana card that has a very similar effect. But it's two random ones. Uh, I can't think of the name. Oh, there it was. Fork Lightning. Right? This card is not playable, but it overloads too. This might be playable. It might be playable. Ooh, Murloc theme. After you play a Murloc, deal one damage to all enemies. That's a good meme. I don't think it's that great. It's gonna do it's it's gonna make people want to play a Murloc uh, deck. That's for damn sure. Murloc is going to become popular just because people always love playing Murloc decks. I have to stop clicking on cards. This is busted? I don't think this is that great. Uh, next, South Coast Chieftain. If you control another Murloc, you'll 2 damage. This card feels good. Solid effect. Even though it does have a drawback, because it's... I mean, you have to have it, right? But this feels actually pretty good. I, I fuck with this. I started to turn... Draw a Murloc. This is a draw. This is one of those started turn facts. I can get behind. Um... Yeah, I can, I can get behind this. Definitely. This is not 3 mana nuke the board. Am I missing something? I mean, this one I think so far is the one that has the most potential to be good. If it does survive, it gives you 2 draws in an aggro deck. 
And Shaman is one of those aggro classes that doesn't have that great draw. Uh, this card I don't feel is broken. I feel like this card's good. You'd have to play so many Murlocs to actually wipe the board. Oh, you can give it Toxfin. Ah, that's what you're saying. At the start of turn, effects never do work, but in the odd chance that they do, or it could force, like, and say you're playing as a secret mage player, right? They have a really hard time if they don't play anything on a one to kill this on two. They have a really fucking hard time. Same thing with Odd Pally. If they don't play a one drop, they have a hard time killing this on turn two. And even then, if they play a one one, they can't kill on turn two. Like, it has potential to possibly pop off. In my opinion. But yeah, this... With, I didn't think of Toxin, but with Toxin, this is actually pretty good. 100%. Um... Yeah. I mean, yes... But again, I said if they don't play anything on one, they have a secret mage has exactly two one drops in their entire deck. They don't have them every single game, even though it feels like it. They don't necessarily have them every game, which is why I think this card could actually have potential. And even then, if the secret they play is um, rigged, then they're forced to hero power if they want to kill it on turn two, which means they're not playing a different two drop. So, again, it has upsides, too. I feel like it has potential. Again, I might be completely wrong, but I feel like it might be tested in the Murloc deck. Um, next, Arid Stormer. 3 mana, 2, 5. Battlecry, if an elemental... Play an elemental last turn, gain Rush and Wind Fury. Yeah, I mean, Marlock Shaman definitely has a possibility of being good. It has uh, this, everything can happen, which is, uh, everything, everything is awesome, um, which is pretty nice. And they do have good Murlocs. There are good Murlocs in the game. I don't know if it's going to be as, like, they have the best Murloc in the game, arguably. Um, also, I mean, Scargill is insane. You can also play it with this if you want to meme. Um, this one's bad, though. But yeah. I mean, you also this, which is a solid meme. This card, though, I think it's bad. I don't think Elemental Shaman's going to be playable. Um, nothing can stop. See what they did there. I see what they did there. Nothing can stop us. No fin can stop us. Let me read it properly. Uh, give your minions plus one plus one. Give your Murlocs an additional plus one plus one. This card's actually not bad. No cap. This card's this card has potential. Uh, no cap. I fuck with it. I play it in a Murloc deck. I think. Bloodless for two less mana and one less attack. I like it. Uh, Brute Gun. Nature spell damage plus three. Four mana, five, four. Um. Maybe not with Neptune in it, but possibly with Quest. I think Neptune is actually just terrible. It's way too much mana. You'd rather just play Megafin off the Quest. Um. But yeah, I, I could try Murloc Shaman. Murloc Shaman. My throat right now feels like I swallowed a razor blade. So I'm going to probably f stop after the class cards. And then tomorrow, where the stream will be on Twitch, if I don't forget to switch over. Um, I will continue them. So if you want to see the rest of them, uh, make sure to go follow me there. Self-promote. So shamans have... What's good spells that are element or er, that are nature you have earthquake which is okay earthquake already wipes the board basically 
Agatha Scheme already wipes the board. Uh, Jade Lightning normally kills whatever you target on, and for 8 mana, I don't think it's better. Um, Twitch does send notifications. That it does do. You, Yeah, it's on by default. But, again, it's also Twitter, where I always do that when I go live. Um, Torrent... Again, Torrent, though, I feel like normally kills things. So the big one for this is going to be Serpentine, Portal, Crackle, Lightning Bolt, Earthshock. Lava Burst is not on this list, is it? No, it's not. I don't think this is good enough because it's super, super slow. Um... And like also like the cards that are buffing besides Serpentine Portal and Crackle, Lightning Bolt is not necessarily that great, and Lava Burst is not on the list. So yeah, I guess Lightning Storm. But even then, Lightning Storm always deals three. So who knows? I don't think this one's that great though. It kind of makes me sad that this is one of the uh, Diamond Legendaries, uh, because it's not one you really really want. Um, next Earth Revenant, four mana two six. Taunt, Battlecry, deal 1 damage to all enemy minions. That's really bad. <laughs> really fucking bad. I don't even know what else to say besides this is... This is bad. I guess, yeah, it is cheap Mally, but... I guess if you can go Serpentine, Serpentine... Okay, so you couldn't even go Serpentine, Serpentine, so you have to go Crackle, Crackle, Bolt, Bolt. In which case... You're dealing at max. At max, it's not lethal. Is the problem. And for the same cost, you can play Ancestral Call into pulling Mali. So, then I don't think that's worth it. And you have access to Lava Burst. Which is just straight up better. Um. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like this card's kind of bad. Um... And then Earth Revenant is just super fucking slow. This feels like a commons effect, not a rares. Um, next, Lilypad Lurker. If an elemental was played last turn, transform it. Oh, it's Hex on a stick if you played an elemental last turn. This actually has potential. I think this could be good. No cap, I think this could be good. If Elemental Shaman is good, which I don't think is going to be good. So it won't be playable. But if it is, this card's an auto-include. Altar of Fire. Destroy the top three cards of each deck. My dreams of playing a Mill Warlock deck that burns my opponent's deck is coming more and more true. <laughs> I fuck with this. Super hard. Absolutely super fucking hard. I, I like this. I, I, I'd play this in certain decks. Next. Uh, Grimoire of Sacrifice. Warlock cards of Kek W. Nice. Grimoire of Sacrifice. A short friendly minion. Deal 2 damage to all enemy minions. This card is not great. There's very few cards you would want to kill. On your own board. If this was zero mana and dealt one, it'd be playable. Uh, Apothecary's Caravan. At the start of your turn, summon a one cost minion from your deck. This card's bad. I don't even need to look at the stats, it's just bad. Uh, Imp Swarm, two, summon three, two. Summon three, three, twos. Again, not good. So far, Warlock has been very pog in Altar of Fire and then Garbage. Next. Uh, Lifesteal Battlecry. If your deck contains 10 or fewer cards, deal 6 damage to a minion. Card also feels awful. Absolutely fucking terrible. Yeah. Uh, next. Cabal Outfitter. Uh, three mana, three three. Battle cry and death row give another random friendly minion plus one plus one. 
If this was targeted, it'd be significantly better. But either way, I don't see how this card is good. Yeah. Next. Tasman Roam. Whenever you cast a shadow spell costs, that costs one or more, add a copy to your hand that costs zero. Shadow spells? Okay. Well, shadow spells has some really insane cards in it. Whenever you cast a shadow spell costs one or more, add a copy that costs zero. This card is broken. <laughs> no cap, this card is broken. Happy Bomb, Defile, uh, Coil, Pio, Soul Shear, uh, Shadow Bolt, uh, Treachery, if you want a meme, uh, Amethyst Spellstone, Blast Crystal, uh, Hysteria, Fence Demons, School Spirit. This card is insane. I fuck with this card so hard. I'm putting this in Reno Lock. I'm I'm slam I'm putting this in the Reno Lock, I think. I think this card's actually insane. It's the best card I think that goes with spells. It is the best spell-based card, in my opinion, in the in in all the cards I've read so far. No cap there. Um, and I feel like this effect again, just okay. You're queued into, uh, what's his face? Dark Lair. You slam Tasman. You slam Hysteria on a giant. It punches one of its giants. You put Hysteria on the other one. It wipes the rest of the board. It's so good. I think it gives you two first, so even if it dies, you still get it. Also, I mean, this into coin twisting into you have a zero mana twisting. This is the card the copy stays in your hand. If I don't get this on golden, you're gonna. <laughs> That's a good fucking meme. I would if I I. <sighs> Yeah, so this card feels absolutely insane. I fuck with this card so hard. So far, my favorite card on the set. I would love to get this card golden. Fucking love it. Uh, next, Soul Rend. Deal 5 damage to all minions. Destroy a card in your deck for each kill. <laughs> Most of the time, Shadow Flame is better. The other part of the time, Hellfire is better. I don't think this card is good. Your deck is empty. Open a portal that fills your board with three two imps each turn. Feel this card is good. Hear me out. I think you put this in your warlock deck. I'm I'm like no cap. No, but like okay, so Mechathune is a completely different story. I'm saying that this could be good in Arena Lock. And I know, you might think, yeah, this motherfucker has smoked some good crack. I think that this card could be good in Arena Lock. Just because, if you get to a point where you're playing a super grindy game, right? Against something like, you know, a Fatigue deck, or against a super late game Druid deck, right? Think J Druid. You're summoning 21 power a turn. Right? He would have to put so many jade idols. I don't know if you can hear. 
but I feel like there was just the longest thing of thunder I've ever heard outside. What in the actual fuck? I didn't know it was raining outside. Okay, either something just blew up, or yeah. What the fuck is going on out there? Okay, whatever. Um, can I show the portal card, please? Uh, this one. Yeah, yes. Um, it hold up. It depends. If this is on your board, if the portal is on your board. It's not playable. What the fuck is going on out there? Okay, well, I might die. I don't fucking know. <laughs> the portal's on your board. Okay, then it's significantly less playable. You basically get the same reward that you get for uh, quest. Can I also point out when the fuck did they get a murloc? Why the fuck do they have a Marlock? Yeah, the Disco Quest. Uh, here. You get the same effect. Right? I guess this... Okay, I thought it was just you'd fill your board every single turn. But again. I feel like the effect is so good, though. Or maybe in something like Zoo, too, it could be decent. It could be decent in Zoo as well. I, I would not count this card out. I feel like it's going to be tested because I feel like it has potential. You don't have to play with the cards to destroy your own deck and shit like that. I just think this card generally has potential. Um, Especially with, like the mill decks going around and shit like that. I feel like it has potential. Also, I'd like to point out that it's not actually quite lethal. I was going to say, again, this has the potential of just being OTK with Milganus, but no, not really. It could be trash, but I think it could have potential overall. Next, uh, Baron Scavenger. 6 mana 6 6, taunt, cost 1 while your deck has 10 or fewer cards. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, it's awful, though. An interesting effect, but awful. Yeah. Alright, next we're on to Warrior. We're going to basically do the last Warrior cards, and then, honestly, I feel like I can barely talk. <laughs> My throat hurts so fucking much. Um, so yeah. Warsong Envoy. 1 mana, 1 3, Frenzy, gain plus 1 attack for each damaged character. Uh, that's not great. Again, I don't like these Frenzy cards that don't have Rush. Rush, I feel like, is so core for this mechanic. Um, yeah. You you would not lose, by the way, with that other card to Jade. Because you get to a point where you're just punching him in the face, and you're just trading in, say, three things into his guy, and you're punching him for nine, right? I don't know. I feel like you'd have potential. I guess you have to. You'd be taking damage. Those you can play cards like Arch Archivist and whatnot. I don't know. I, I would just be worried. I don't... I wouldn't count that card out right away. Uh, but yeah, this card feels absolutely terrible. Uh, bulk up. You have a random minion in your hand, plus one, plus one, and a copy of it. This card feels good. I can see like if you if you manage to hit something like a Argus with this, it's insane. If you hit anything else, it's kind of bad. There's very few other minions you want to copy, in my opinion. But yeah. Um, conditioning. You have a minion in your hand, plus one, plus one. You have plus three, plus three. This card's bad. In my opinion. Um, yeah, this card's just terrible. Hand buff has never been insane, in my opinion. It's always been okay at best. 
And this card is not great either at it. Super late, you might as well just, like... I know it sounds weird to say, but I feel just like... Uh, uh, Galakron is better. I could not think of his name for a second there. Oh, let's see. Where is Gally? Oh, I'm in crafting, that's why you don't see him. But yeah, I feel like Galakron is just much better than something like this. And, like, those boss are actually really good, because you can also go with, like, Scion. I feel like this card's bad, though. Uh, Rokara. 3 mana, 2, 3. Rush. After friendly minion attacks and survive, give it plus 1, plus 1. This card's... Oh my god, I feel this card's also bad. I said everything earlier was felt good. And now I'm saying everything feels awful. I don't know why. I feel like Warlock had like one insane card and then a couple cards that just had potential. So far the there's no rogue or there's there's one there's one card here that I felt like had potential. I feel like all these other ones are just terrible. Um Yeah. If you guys have any other opinions, I mean I might be absolutely wrong, but hey. Outrider Axe, 4 mana 3 3. Uh, after your hero attacks and kills a minion, draw a card. Is this better than Wrench Caliper? I think the answer is no. You're really playing this in Dead Man's Hand? Why? I don't see why you want to play this in Dead Man's Hand. I feel like it's slower than Wrench Caliper, slower than Death Spite, and slower than. Uh, the other 4 mana one. I think this is just the worst 4 mana weapon. Uh, Blood Razor. I might be wrong there too, but I just feel like this one is a little weak. Overall. More card draw can't hurt, but what are you cutting? At least in my list, I don't think I put this in. I already don't play some of the good card draw, like, uh... What's his face? Town Crier. Or, um... Forge the Souls. I don't play things like that, so I don't see how I would try to fit that in, personally. So, yeah. my To be fair, my Dead Man's Hand list, I'll completely admit it, it's very whack compared to most people's. Uh, next is Rancor. 4 mana deal 2 damage to all minions, gain 2 armor for each destroyed. I fucking like this card. Jesus Christ, that's actually a really, really nice card, I think. Best potential against another odd pally, it's 4 mana to gain 14 armor, roughly. Uh, it's important to know that it's not overkill, so even on something with 2 health, if you kill it, you gain all the armor. It's really, really nice. Uh, yeah, I like this card. I would actually might try to find a space in Dead Man's Head for this. I don't know, possibly. It's a maximum of 30 or 28 armor gain, which I think is good. Yeah, I think it's a good removal card. Whirling Combatant? Combatant? Yeah, let's go with that. 4 mana 2 6. Battlecry and Frenzy deal 1 damage to all their minions. Yeah, at 5 though? I don't think it's even good at 5. I think it, it's it's good at 4, but not 5. I think 5 might be slightly too slow. Because especially against things like um, Odd Pally, you run into the problem where at 5 he could Quartermaster beforehand. And it's really, that's basically the matchup I'm thinking about that card in. Um, against something like Secret Mage, it's not great. Against something like, I guess Demon Hunter is also really good. Um, Aggro Shaman, it could be really good in. Because a lot of, all the tokens have two health. Or less. So if they don't buff them, it's fairly good. Um, but yeah. I feel like that card has potential. I fuck with it. Willing Combatant, on the other hand. Um, if it had Taunt, I think it'd be good. But as is, just a 2 mana 2-6 uh, that deals 2 damage to the board if it survives its first attack, or the first time it gets attacked, I don't think it's that great. No cap. Um, yeah. Morshan Elite, 5 mana 4-4, four, four, Taunt, Battlecry. If your hero attacked this turn, summon a copy of this. So, in my opinion, the best 4-drop would be Wrench Caliper. So, 
you'd have to play wrench caliper into this guy and i don't think that's feasible enough of the time but then this card's bad it's a very powerful effect though also i feel like chain gang is just better most of the time especially like if you want to go with the hand buff thing hand buff onto chain gang it's just better Um, I'll, I'll answer that question once I finish reviewing the warrior cards. Uh, Stormall Anchorman? Anchorman? Uh, 5 out of 4, 5, Rush, Frenzy, Draw a Card, Pirate. This card I just think is awful. I think it's... Okay, I don't want to say awful. Um, I'm thinking of this in EDH Warrior. The, the warrior deck I built there. And I think I'd still rather play the 4-mana 2-5 that gives you 11. Uh, not only because it has Taunt, but also I think Resonant Taunt is slightly better than Resonant Softness Off. In my opinion. But I would try this card. I think I might actually try this card in that deck. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think this is playable though. Ah! In Taunt Warrior, this might be good. In my Taunt Warrior list, I might play this. I don't play weapons though. Mm. Because I don't play weapons, I don't think this is actually gonna be good. And the final warrior card, Overlord Saw so Sorfang. Yeah, I think it's gonna fall flat. I think the closest thing to hand buff warrior we have is my EDH warrior list. And I think that deck is actually like no cap, pretty solid. Um, but yeah, Overlord Thorfang. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. 7 mana, 5 4, Battle Cry, Resurrect, 2 friendly, Frenzy minions. Deal 1 damage to each of them. I hope that there's good Frenzy neutral minions because. there. I mean, there has to be. There's two of them here. They're both kind of ass. If Frenzy was every time they survive damage. Uh, I think this card would be best legend in the set that I've seen so far. Because it's not... Right, because then you could go like this into this into draw like two cards here. Uh, yeah, basically that's my, that's my opinion exactly. These warrior cards are just kek W. They're not great. Over, overall, the class cards in the set... Some classes got significantly better cards than others. I'm thinking of Mage, in particular, for a new archetype. Demon Hunter, for a new archetype. Um, Paladin, because of this legendary. Uh, Priest, because of this legendary. Rogue, because of this fucking piece of shit here. Shaman... New Murloc theme is actually pretty nice. Warlock got so far my favorite card in the set. And then Warrior and Hunter and Druid are kind of just like Keck dubs. Although this card is... If... Okay. If this is not my favorite card yet seen... Right? If it's not her... It's this. So yeah, overall... I feel like each class got some very interesting cards. Demon Hunter got this. And got the two seal cards. Which I think are fairly cool. Uh, Druid got this. Hunter got this. Mage got uh, this. Again, Crack Attic. Uh, Paladin got this, which I think is very, very promising. Uh, Priest got this. Rogue got this, which I'm fairly certain is one of the, if not the best rogue cards in the set, if not this. Um, Shaman got this. Yeah, don't know if that's that great, but with Toxman it seems broken. Warlock got this, and then um, this class just got kicked dubs. Actually, it got Rancor. It got Rancor. Uh, first card is Kindling Elemental. One mana, one two. Battle cry. The next elemental you play costs one less. That's actually not bad. <laughs> is that bad that I think that? Um, yeah, I generally feel that like that's not that bad. Um, Council Shimmering Elemental for Shadowwalk Shaman. 
Um, combos with a lot of things, right? Mage has that elemental where if you put an elemental last turn, you draw a card. So you can slam this on like four, and the, or slam this on three with hero power and kill something into that. And then you draw a card for free. Uh, feels like it has potential. All these cards that are just like, your next X costs one less. Since it doesn't say this turn, it's like instantly more powerful. And insanely, like, it will be tested in any deck that plays elementals, basically, is what I think. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say this card has potential and it's pretty good overall. Alright, next. Far Watch Post. Uh, 2 mana, 2 4, can attack. After your opponent draws a card, it costs one more. Up to 10. If this could make things cost more than 10, it would be a very funny card. <laughs> uh, but I think it's terrible. Um, sure, this, this sh the, the slowdown is good. But in what aggro decks does, like, you can't play this against aggro decks because they just don't care. They'll just go above it. And in control matchups, they'll just deal with it. And you're dedicating an entire slot in your deck to it, and I feel like it's just bad, right? There's just much better you could be playing in the control deck. Next, Heckle Fan Hyena. 2 mana, 2, 4. Battle card deal 3 damage to your hero. Oh, to your hero. Yeah, I don't think this is good. There's just better 2 drops you can play in aggro. Again, with Undertaker being unnerfed, uh, even, uh, fuck, I just know its nickname is Skittles, but, uh, the 2-1 spider for two, or the 1-2 spider for two that summons two one ones, is insanely more playable. Uh, where is he? 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 I can't see him. Is Haunted Creeper. He is like just like a better two drop. Also, I just mean the amount of two drops that are actually in the game, especially in Wild. Right? Fairy Dragon, Blood Mage, Thalanos, Dirty Rat, Doomsayer. Uh, this motherfucker is actually surprisingly insane. Um, Bluegill Warrior. Just things like that. Even Ooze, to a certain extent, are just better cards than this. This card feels really bad. I mean, it's a common, what do you expect, really? But there are some very powerful commons, so beware. Uh, next is Lush Water Mercenary, 2 mana, 3, 2. Battle cry, give your... Or if you if you control a Murloc game, plus 1, plus 1. Like, see, like this is a good 2 drop. This is a 3, 2 Murloc with no downside. Only up. This is a 2, 4 with only down right this if you control another murloc right so you go turn one the one two that grows every time you play murloc into this you get a four three like that's broken right like when you look at it that's more stats for two with upside right it only has upside compared to this that only has a downside that's actually insane you get one more stat here and for i guess the same amount of mana you get one less stat but you're not taking three to the dome this guy's insane though uh, Lushwater Scout is the next one. One mana, one three. Uh, after you um, in a Murloc, give it plus one attack and rush. Like, that's also insanely good. What the fuck? The Murloc support of the set is actually pretty pog. Uh, this card is... I, I, I fuck with it. It's actually pretty good. No cap. Next. Oasis Thrasher. Two mana, two three. Beast. Deal three damage to the enemy hero. See, this... This is a good card. This is just straight up... River Croc, like, be, most BM part about this is that it's a crocodile. It's just straight up riv River Crocodile with a stat line, 2 mana, 2, 3, but with an upside. It feels bad. Like, that's power creep. Uh, Peon, uh, 2 mana, 2, 3, Frenzy, add a random spell from your class to your hand. I don't think this is that good. There's just better 2 drop to get spells. Like, the guy that gives you 1 cost spells, I think he's 2, right? Or is he 3? Uh... I have no idea what he's called. Uh, I think he's a two drop. Yeah, here. So two, two mana, two, two that adds a one cost spell to your hand. So I think it's just better than this overall. But I don't see any combos you can do with this. For the one mana spells, there's plenty of combos you can do with them. Next, Talented Arcanist. Uh, two mana, one, three. Uh, battle cry. your next spell this turn has spell damage plus two. If it was just your next spell, um, 
it'd be insane. Like, actually super broken. Uh, because it's your next spell damage this turn. I guess it has potential, but I don't think it's that great. I think it's really, really bad overall. Like, not going to see any play. But yeah. Next is Toad of the Wilds. That is an adorable artwork. 2 mana, 2, two Taunt, Battlecry. If you're holding a nature spell, gain plus 2 health. See, I like this this way to fuck with the spells. Or just like, the spell's already playable, and you're now you're just giving me an upside on my 2-drop. Feels good. Is this one in particular playable, though? I don't think so. Um, just a 2-4 taunt for 2 is not that great. If you're not holding that nature spell, it's a fucking Frost Wolf Grunt or whatever the fuck his name is. Which is straight up a 2 mana 2-2 two, two taunt. Yeah. But, yeah. The art looks nice, so that's an upside. It tells me when these are not in the right way. Next. Uh, Baron's Trapper. A 3 mana 2 4. Your death rattles cost 1 less. That seems actually not bad. Uh, this is the first neutral card that I think seems actually semi playable, if not completely playable. It's a really, really powerful effect. Um, I don't know what deck I'd put it in, but I definitely think that this deck, this card has potential to be like pretty good, especially like an aggro deck, right? With Undertaker, uh, Haunted Creepers cost one, eggs cost one. Uh, leper Gnomes cost zero, right? Just imagine you play this, a 3 mana 2-4, and then some 2 Leper Gnomes beside it with a Undertaker on the battlefield. Uh, like, you go Undertaker 1, he doesn't answer it, coin this, un uh, Leper Gnome, Leper Gnome. Your Undertaker's a 3-4, this is a 2-4, and you have 2 Leper Gnomes at 2 ones. Seems, like, actually insanely good. This could be a really good card in aggro. Next, uh, Crossroads Gossiper, 3 mana 4-3, after, after a friendly secret is revealed, gain plus 2, plus 2. Why is Secret Mage getting in their tech? Actually, I don't think this card would see play in Secret Mage. Um, the deck already has so many 3-drops, I don't know if you can fit this in. Right? We have so many 3-drops, I feel. No, they only have one 3-drop. What am I saying? Right, they only have... The only one they actually play is... This, right? And all their secrets. I always get confused because there's like a million secrets in that deck. So this card might actually see play in Secret Mage. I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. But I feel like plus two plus two is a lot of stats for three mana. Also, it's like already not bad stats baseline for three mana. Yeah, this card is really fucking good. Right, next, uh, Death Head Cultist. Three mana, two, four, taunt. Death Rattle restore 4 health to your hero. Uh, this card just feels bad and slow. I mean, is it bad and slow? If it was a 3-4 with that ability, it would, I think it'd be insanely good. The 2-4, I don't know if it's good enough. Weirdly enough. It might be, though. Look out for this card. Next, Hog Rancher. 3 mana, 3 2. Battlecry summon a 2 1 hog with a rush. That hog is fucking adorable. Um. Yeah, uh. Hold up, wait. I just realized that I did not change my title. What is this card set called? Forged in the Barrens. Forged in the Barrens. That's not how you spell Barons. There's two R's. Whoops. Again. Spelling, not my forte. <laughs> uh, where was I? Here, Hog Rancher. Oh, this card just feels bad, honestly. Um. Yeah, Hog is cute, but that's like where the upsides and the good parts end with this card. That line is not impressive. 2 1 Hog with Rush, not that impressive. Uh, yeah. Next, Horde Operative. 
Uh, three mana, three four. Battle cry. Copy your opponent's secrets and then put them and put them into play. Okay, so that's nice because that copies all of them. Is this the answer we're looking for for secret mage? I don't think so. I think this is actually a really half-ass answer to secret mage, and I don't think it's going to be that great overall. Um, but it does. I mean, it could be good, right? Because secret mage, then your their counter spell gets countered. Uh, if they don't deal damage for a turn. And they had rigged fair games, you draw three. Um, explosive runes triggers on this. But you get the own explosive runes, so they could play something and you're have it instantly die. At the same time, explosive ruins gets hard countered by Matt Scientist. So I don't know. I don't think this is actually the right answer to Secret Mage for them to print. This card could be good, but I think it's bad overall. Next is Mankirk. Good name. 3 mana, 3, 4. Better probably help Mankirks find his wife. He was last seen somewhere in your deck. Cast when drawn. Summon a 310 Mankirk who immediately attacks the enemy hero. This legendary feels like a meme. Not great. Um... Yeah, so this is just a 3-4 that summons a 3-10 later on. Not great overall. Um, yeah. Not great. I would be very sad if this is the legendary open golden. Now that I said that, it's the one I'm going to open golden. Um, okay, next is Morshan's Watched Post. 3 mana, 3-5, can attack. After your opponent plays a minion, summon a 2-2 grunt. Uh, it's, okay, so, oh, it's a watch. It doesn't even have taunt. If it had Taunt, it would be significantly better. As is, this card's still terrible. These Watchtower cards I don't think are that great. Or Watchpost cards, they're not that great. Uh, Alright. Next is Ratchet Pri uh, Private? Privateer? 3 mana, 4, 3, give your weapon plus 1 attack. There's just better pirates to play for 3. Um, in either Rogue decks or Warrior decks. So I don't think this one's in C play. At all. Uh, Sunveil, initiate it. Uh, three mana, three four. Frenzy, gain defined shield. I mean, this does kind of have potential to be good. Will it be good overall? I don't think so. Uh, I can't stop yawning. What the fuck? Uh, will this be good? I don't think so. I think it's just another filler card. There's a lot of those in the set. I feel. I'm like. So far with the set, I'm kind of impressed and, like, not impressed. I'm, like, impressed, like, there are some really cool cards in the set, and then at the same time, like, some of these cards are really fucking bad. It's, like, not that good. Alright, next, Venomous Scorpion. 3 mana, 1, 3, Poisonous, Battle Card, Discover a Spell. This is one of the best Poison Minions ever printed, in my opinion. <laughs> the only one that gets you back a card, if I'm not mistaken, and besides Rabbit, it's... Actually, no, I think it might be slightly worse than Rabbit. It's not playable, though. That's for damn sure. Alright, next. Uh, Blade Master Samuro. Uh, 4 mana, 1, 6, Rush, Frenzy, deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. So this is, like, really good if you're, like, playing, like, Hand Buff Warrior. Uh, so if you get, like, a Don Honcho trigger on it, all of a sudden, like, what is it? It's a 4 mana, 6, 11, Rush... That one gets hit once, deals six damage to the board. Or only to enemy minions. I don't think it's good. There's other cards print all the legends before that said like that threat will deal its damage to the enemy side of the board, which wasn't played, and I don't think this is gonna see play either. Uh alright. Next. Crossroads Crossroads Watch Post. Can't attack. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, give your minions plus one plus one. Again, I don't feel like this is good. This, this is just so fucking slow. If, you're, if your opponent doesn't end up playing a spell, it just kill, trades into it. Does nothing. I'm not impressed with the Watch Post series at all. Next, uh, Dark Spear Berserker. 4 mana, 5, 7. Death Rattle, deal 5 damage to your hero. That's really good stats. Does Aggro need to play this? I don't think so. Zoo has a five mana, or five, 4 mana, 5, 5 rush. 
draw three. Um, which I think is just better. Trade two health to draw three cards. I do that. Uh, okay, next gruntled patron. Uh, four mana, three three frenzy. Summon another gruntled patron. Uh, so this is just straight up patron. Um. Uh, it's patron, but bad. Just play patron for one more mana. Honestly. Yeah, that's that's my opinion of that card. Uh, injured Marauder, four mana, five ten taunt. Battle card deals six damage to this minion. This card seems fucking fire. Um, for all the big decks that cheat out minions like this, I'm thinking Big Druid. I'm thinking basically only Big Druid. This card, I think, is a replacement to the 3-9. You're getting an additional 2-1 stats, and I think it's worth it. The 5-10 taunt is huge. Yeah, I fuck with this card. I fuck with this card a lot. Next is Kazakis Golan Shaper. Uh, battle card, if your deck has no four cost cards, build a custom golem. Um, no four cost cards means you can't play this in so many decks because four cost cards are so fucking good. This can't be played in Druid whatsoever. Um, Warlock, it can't be played because he, there's no deck, I think, in Warlock where you're cutting at the moment at least. Like if you're playing Zoo, you're you're not cutting this because this card is insane, right? You're not cutting this in the control warlock decks, in my opinion. Or like Hellfire or something like that. Um I guess Warrior would be another deck. I don't think you cut Bloodraiser from a control deck. Or Omega Devastator if you're odd or something like that, or mech based. Uh Kargith is way too good. What are the good Highland decks? Priest? Um I don't think you cut Kazakus from your priest decks in general. Or, again, spawn. Uh, here. I don't think you cut this from a control mage deck, because that card's insane. Hunter, I don't think you can cut this from a Highlander or a control deck. Rogue. I mean, who the fuck plays control rogue? I mean, rogue at the moment, you don't cut this from any deck whatsoever. Just in general, I'm trying to think, like, if I just go over the current decks in the meta, this is odd, so this doesn't count. This, I don't think you cut Overgrowth from your Druid decks whatsoever, or Oaken Summons. Hunter, at the moment, I don't think you're ever cutting Dragonbane. Mage, if you're aggro, you're never cutting Fireball. If you're, or this, if you're Control, I don't think you cut this. Um, Paladin... Odd, you can't play it. Control. There's no real control deck at the moment, but maybe, I guess, in Paladin. Priests, uh, you're never cutting this, and you don't want to play, be playing Maids in Big anyways, so that doesn't matter. Uh, odd, you can't play it anyways. Kingsbane, you wouldn't want to play it. Other Rogues. I mean, even in Kingsbane, if you would want to, you're not cutting Tinkers. There's no other real rogues. Shaman. Aggro, I don't think you cut this. And I think that the best Shaman deck is going to be a Murloc one with Scargill. Um, against, again, Totem, you don't want to cut it because you don't want to, you don't want to play it because you don't want to cut Axe. Here, you don't want to cut Fellfire, uh, Hellfire. You don't want to cut Matron, Voidcaller, Deathspite, Cargith, Omega Devastator, Wrench Caliper, you know. Even Mummy and Eater are, like, really good. So I don't think this card is actually going to see any play. Unless it makes its own archetype, I don't think it's going to see any play. And you can't even play with old Kazakus. You just have to draw them both, I guess, but it's not worth it. Because all the decks that play Kazakus have other cards, too, that it costs four. So, okay, so next, uh, Celsius, uh, Scoundrel, Scoundrel, I think? Four mana, five, five. Battle cry, battle cry, discover a card in your opponent's deck. They draw... They draw theirs as well. Oh, okay, so you discover it, and then you also give it to them. Why the fuck would you ever want to give your opponent a good card from their deck? I don't fucking know. Because you don't really want to take a good card with this, right? You never want to take a bad card. So you're just like, if you're getting a piece of removal, you're giving them a piece of removal. That they're going to use to remove your format of 5-5. Five, five. 
you get them a bomb, or you take a bomb, you're giving them the same bomb that they get to play before you. It's not good. Next, a uh, Spirit Healer. Uh, 4 mana, 3, 6. After you cast a Holy Spell, give a random friendly minion plus 2 health. That actually feels like it kind of has promise. Like, I feel like this card could be decent. Not great, but decent. Nah, actually, it's not going to be good. It's a meme epic. That's kind of what you expect from the epic slot in the sets. It's just most of them are meme cards. Uh, next, uh, Baron Blacksmith, 5 mana, 3, 5, Frenzy. Give other, give your other minions plus 2, plus 2. If it was give all your minions plus 2, plus 2, I don't even think this card would be playable. It's so fucking slow, and again, Frenzy cards without rush feel weird to me. Not a fan. Next, Burning, Burning Blade Acolyte. 5 mana, 1, 1, Death Rattle, summon a 5, 8, Demon... Oh, I just punched my mic, I'm terribly sorry. A demon spawn with taunt. If this had taunt, you'd be good. Without taunt, I don't know. It's like, do you would you rather play this at least or sludge belcher? And I think sludge belcher is the option. Uh, that's that's a hard thing to say though. Like, you wouldn't want to play this in a deck with this off. I'm not really too negative on the set. <laughs> So far, I think there's, like, one card that I said had looked cool. And it was for, like, one specific deck. But yeah, I don't think this card's that playable. Either. Jesus Christ, all these neutral minions so far have been, like, actually terrible. Um, Alright, next. Gold Road Grunt. A 5 mana, 3, 7, taunt, gain armor equal to their damage. Oh, equal to the damage. So if it takes 6, you gain 6. But I'm supposed to tell you that just take one. But I can see this card actually being semi-playable, I guess. Because on one turn early in the cartoon, if you gain six, it's basically like a cartoon. I don't know. We'll see. This card has potential. Uh, although it doesn't have death rattle, so it's or it's not. Um. Yeah, it doesn't have Death Rattle, so you can't get it back, but, like, Nizoth. So, I guess that's, like, the one downside. Uh, which card has Synergy? This one? I think the Demon's actually a downside uh, in Warlock. This card, again, I don't think it's that great either. Uh, okay, Razor Main Raider. Uh, 5 mana, 5, 6. Att Frenzy, attack a random enemy. The demon, I think, is actually a downside, right? Because you want to be resing big things, right? Void Co or void Lords, Dread Lords, Malganus, things like that. You don't want to summon just a 5-8 taunt. It's, like, super boring and super lame. But then again, I mean, you would prefer it over a Void Caller. But then do you want to get that off your Nizoth as well? Is like, the other question. So, like... Okay. But yeah. I think because it's a demon, it's like even less playable. But also, it's like, you, you don't really want to get that off this off, in my opinion. Alright, next is a Razor Main Raider. Uh, 5 out of 5, 6, Frenzy attacks a random enemy minion. So basically, it kills one thing. Again, if this card had a rush, I feel like it'd be really fucking good. Okay, I mean, that, that I guess could make sense. But yeah, the file and coil could be good with it. Yeah, I guess. But no, I, I think it's it's bad overall. I think this card's also just terrible as well. Again, if it had rush, it had so much potential. Like he's running in the picture, he should have rush. I think there's been exactly one, or now two. Uh, Shadow Hunter Vulgin, 5 mana 3 6. Everybody should know this card. Everybody already has it. It swaps a minion. I like this card a lot. So far, the second neutral card that I actually give props to that's not like a one drop or a two drop. Is the Murlocs looked really fucking good, in my opinion. No cap. But uh, this card also just looks good. It's good in. It's better. It made combo better in uh, Mechathune. So. Instantly, I think it's good. 
All right, next. Uh, Torajo Brave. Six mana, four, eight. Frenzy, destroy an enemy minion. This one is like one of the few Frenzy minions I think has potential. Even without Rush, it's still fairly good. Yeah, the neutral cards so far are Bleth. Like this one, I guess, has potential, but six mana, four, eight without Taunt. I don't know if you'll survive there in the current meta. So, yeah. Uh, did I not update this? I hope I did. Well, if not, I updated it now. Um. Yeah. If I had Taunt, I think it'd be much, much better. Next. The Cargill Battle Scar. Uh, 7 mana, 5, 5. 7 mana, 5, 5. Look out for each watch post you summon this game. They tried to push that watch post. And I think it's just like, blah. It's, it's not gonna... I mean... I guess, yes, if you get someone a 7 mana 5-5 five, five, that fills your board with 5-5s, five, fives, it's fucking great until your priest opponent slams Anduin and then you inst instantly escape conceives you're playing 7 garbage cards. Yeah. The only one I think that has potential is the 1-1, one, one, the 1-cost one, cost one, or the 2-cost one, and even then I don't think it's that great. So, yeah. And then finally, Primordial Protector 8 mana 6 6 elemental. Battle cry draw the highest cost spell. Summon a random minion with the same cost. This feels exactly like Spiteful Summoner. But way too much mana. If it was 6, broken. Just play Spiteful Druid again. But as it stands, and an 8 mana 8 6 6, it's not that playable. Sadly to say. But I think this one has a little bit more potential than the other ones. Um, again, but I still just don't see why you don't just play Spiteful. I guess it doesn't draw it, but that was the advantage of Spiteful, is that if you drew one, say, again, I don't think there's a better Spiteful. Because if you draw one LUL, right, if you draw one Ultimate Infestation, you slam this, you draw the second one, the, third, the second one of this is useless in your deck. Where Spiteful, since it doesn't draw it, you can go Spiteful into Spiteful. Also, I, I did, wait, did they ever put Spiteful down? Please tell me they did. That also kind of changes my opinion of the card. Oh yeah, they put it back down to 6. Just fucking run Spiteful. For sure. If you're going to be playing that, just run Spiteful. It's 2 mana cheaper, so you can go turn... I guess you don't play Overgrowth in that deck, because you don't want to accidentally hit one. But... Yeah, I think you just run Spiteful overall. I actually now kind of want to try Spiteful Druid in the current meta. No cap. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the set review. Overall, Murloc seems going to be powerful. Um, Druid got a really nice meme card. Warlock got, I think, the best legend in his set. I like the mechanic they're trying to go for Demon Hunter. It's very interesting to me. Uh, Hunter got a cool legendary. Mage got a really cool archetype that I'm excited to try with uh, Fire Eyes. So basically, since I get two Golden Legendaries, by the way, I'm hoping to get this guy and her. Shaman looks like it's going to actually be a Contester deck now. Uh, Rogue got this Octopus that feels fucking broken to me. Warrior is uh, Kek W's. Overall, kind of excited for the set. I like how they're trying new things with this set. Especially with, like, um, the having to reclass all the spells. I kind of give them a pass for that. For, like, the set being a little bit less cool than the last one. But I give it props because that. And that can lead to some really cool cards later on. 